some of the key considerations when designing a training schedule for a semi-professional program? So something that I've found not only working with the AFLW program at Adelaide, but also in my time in the SANFL uh, at the Woodville West Torrens Footy Club, where you're working with semi-professional athletes and have some time and um, resource constraints. When it comes to designing your schedule, it becomes really important to have a very, very clear list of priorities when it comes to, from our end, the physical preparation, but from a whole of program perspective, um, that relates back to everything within your football program. So I think it's important to start, whether it's from a performance perspective or, as I said, more broadly through the footy program, with a very clear needs analysis. You go through and work out exactly what it is with relation with respect to your program that you want to achieve and um, where you need to invest most of your time find those needs, find those areas that you want to address within the program and then very clearly prioritise those needs. And you mentioned a needs analysis for, for the strength and conditioning coaches listening in um, that maybe are taking over their first program. What would be some um, best ways to go about um, starting your needs analysis and working out what areas to sort of assess? I think initially, if we're talking purely from a physical perspective, sit down and have a look at what the ideal athlete within that sport um, would be capable of and then have a look at some of the maybe the best athletes within your program and assess what it is that separates them from the remainder of your playing group or players that are sort of coming up and progressing through the levels and then take a look at the sport itself and I think with respect to AFLW it's important to not just compare that to AFL um, on the men's side at this stage but also with where the game's at from an AFLW perspective and the demands with things like shorter quarters and um, the, the timing of the season within the calendar year and things of that nature and assess what is it that would be the ideal AFLW athlete. And what about key decision makers who, who are typically uh, in these meetings when you're planning out your your year? The important thing, obviously, from a physical perspective, it involves everybody within your high-performance team. So for us at Adelaide, um, I'm really fortunate to work with an excellent physio, strength and conditioning coach and GPS, sports science analyst. So from the physical side of things, it would be all of those team members. But I think it's incredibly important to bring the coaches along for that as well. I spoke before about the needs analysis and prioritisation within your program. Um, a lot of that comes back to the direction of your senior coach. I've been really lucky for the last few years, both at Adelaide with Matthew Clark and where I've worked previously as well, to work with some excellent coaches. Ultimately, our goal is to build a team that can fit the identity that the coach wants from you know, their program. And what about, you, you mentioned time earlier on uh, as a constraint. What, what are some of the um, major constraints um, in semi-professional football? It's two really clear and obvious ones. The first one, obviously, is time. Um, the, the main difference between semi-professional and full-time professional programs is you simply don't have the same amount of time. And if you don't have the same amount of time, you just can't get the same amount of things done. And that's why I think it's incredibly important to have a, a very clear idea of your, your priorities within the program, whether that's from a physical perspective or a football perspective. Um, but the other one is just yeah, your resources. Obviously, quite often, semi-professional programs aren't resourced quite as well as um, full-time professional programs. And when it comes to that, I think that's something you need to address early on when you do your needs analysis and set your priorities. I think you need to be very, very realistic when identifying all of those things about what you have access to and what you can do with the program that you're working with. 